Hi, today in this video, I will explain LM317 datasheet. Let's have a look at this LM317, which is a three terminal device and it falls under the category of voltage regulators. But it is an adjustable voltage regulator, which means you can adjust your output voltage and even with the help of this regulator, you can even design a regulated power supply. In this video, I'll just explain the first page of LM317 datasheet. Let's get started. So let's start with the features of LM317. Output voltage is adjustable from 1.25 volt to 37 volt. Output current greater than 1.5 amp. Well, practically you have to use an heat sink for that. But still it works. Internal short circuit current limiting and thermal overload protection. If you short the output, most of the cases your voltage regulator will not die. It will survive the short circuits and along with that, the regulator starts heating up. As a result, the thermal overload shutdown protection turns on and your voltage regulators got saved. It's something like when this uh, thermal voltage protection is enabled, the output current keeps decreasing to a level that the even whatever short circuit is there which doesn't harm the device. Output safe area compensation. This simply means LM317's output is protected against short circuit, temperature and when such destructive situation occurs like short circuit, thermal overload. In this, in this case our regulator will try to maintain its set point or it might drop go below the set point but it will never exceed the set point. So this way it will also protect the output circuit and with the help of this internal short circuit protection and over current or voltage protection it can save the device itself. Application. After seeing this list of application it is true that the LM317 has a limitless number of applications. But there's one application which doesn't fit inside this which is energy harvesting. When it comes to energy harvesting, we want more efficiency and using this LM317 is not a good idea. If I were there, if I am designing an energy efficient some energy harvesting project, then I'll go for a LDO or buck or a boost converter, which offers a greater efficiency when compared with LM317. Description. Everything remains the same, and but in description part there are emphasizing the term that only two resistors are required to make the output what to say only two resistors are needed to set the output voltage or the current no it just matches for the voltage even if you work with uh, some boost or buck converter there you will see a trim pot actually a trim pot is a resistor where you can adjust the resistance uh, the equivalent circuit of a trim pot will look something like this which uh, you can just remove the stream pot and add equivalent resistors to maintain a certain output voltage. So all in all, they are trying to emphasize the word only two resistors are needed to maintain the output voltage in a stable way. And it also offers a better line and load regulation. The line regulation is somewhere around 0.01% and the load regulation is 0.1%. So this simply means the amount of deviation which occurs. This device is available in three different packages and their dimensions are given right here. The data sheet also contains various application schematics and I have tried almost um, most of the circuits and everything seems to work fine. And here we have a schematic which represents some kind of a battery charger. Uh, it's, uh, depending upon its design, it seems like it is a lead acid battery charger because it doesn't require much complex circuitry. So I can say that this battery charger circuit is suitable for charging lead acid batteries. Well, you can even try charging other type of batteries, but lead acid is more suitable because the charging mechanism is simple. Um, you can also try charging a lithium ion battery, which I did, and it pretty much charges the same way, but you have to make sure the current doesn't exceed the battery's maximum current rating. Next video, I'll explain how to make 3D schematics, the 3D version of a PCB, using EZDA. I've been using this EZDA for a very long time, 
So some of my friends requested to make a video about it, how to do schematics, PCB designing and 3D version of the PCB. So maybe in my next video I'll do that. Thanks for watching. If you like my video, subscribe right now.